Alright, good morning. I'm making a quick video. Uh, it's uh, almost 10 o'clock, or right at 10 now. It's about time for me to get in bed. Um, I got to work tonight, but I just saw this this morning in uh, my brokerage here. I had these notifications from I, I got the Weeble brokerage. Um, and uh, this dude here feel bad for the guy maybe uh they posted a comment you know asking when we're gonna get a republican president better stock market and better 401k and uh when is biden gonna stop being lame and and, and poorly running the country <laughs> okay now you know what i can't disagree with his statement there i mean biden has done, has just done a hell of a job at screwing shit up him and his whole damn party but uh, this guy has lost it. he's got a thing posted where it shows his P&L he's got one position one and he's down 90% he's down $101,000 so, and I'm looking at, at the at the market value of his position he put roughly $12,000 into one um, Roughly, roughly one hundred and twelve thousand dollars into one position, and it's a penny stock. Uh, the position he put it into was a uh, B Big Venco Ventures, and uh, looked like he put in bought or he bought in right when it was near a fifty-two week high, and it's now hitting a fifty-two week low. I checked this morning; I think it's like thirty-four cents. Uh, that's a big drop. Three dollars forty-five. Three dollars forty-five cents down to thirty-four cents. Ooh, that's rough. You know, so, uh, feel bad for the guy. I put in the comments, hey man, you know I agree with your with your statement, but you can't really put this on on Biden. I mean, it's kind of on you, buddy. It ain't no way in hell I'd have put that much money into one position, especially a penny stock. You know, I mean. He might would have come out a little better if he'd put the, put that much money into something like uh, I don't know, like Boeing. Well, yeah, yeah I'd say Boeing or, or something like like uh, um, Walmart or uh, you know even something like Tesla, you know, or, or or Nvidia, you know, or maybe one of the oil companies even. But nah, you gonna put it all in uh, that much money into one position? Your whole investment basically into one position. And it's a penny stock. You know. There's another name for them stocks. Them kind of stocks. They also call them lottery stocks. You might get lucky and get rich. You know. I mean, I could go buy the winning Powerball ticket tomorrow. But I probably... Uh, and I probably will buy a ticket tomorrow. But I probably ain't going to buy the winning one. You know. I mean, it, I just... It ain't no... It's, that, that's painful to look at. It ain't no way in hell I'd have done that. And in my portfolio, I just recently, uh, you know, something came up and I recently cut into my portfolio. I had 40 positions. I, I had to cut it. I cut it all the way down to 10, uh, which I learned another lesson. Uh, I'm not going to rebuild my portfolio until I've got enough of an emergency fund built up in my savings account to where I'm comfortable with, with it. Uh, so that hopefully I can avoid having to cut into my brokerage, you know, anytime in the, in the near future, or, you know, because it can't do what it's supposed to do if, if I had to cut into it. Uh, but, you know, lesson learned. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm not going to rebuild my portfolio until I've got my savings account, my emergency fund, like I want it. But um, anyway, like I said, I kept 10 positions. You know, and, and here's the, the thing about diversifying. I mean, 40 positions is pretty diverse. Uh, spread across multiple se sectors. Uh, you know, many of them are individual stocks. Um, but, uh, and I had one, I added one. I, I was going to cut the cryptos out of Weeble, but I decided to go ahead and add one back. So I had one crypto position. Uh, and I had some ETFs. Uh, but here's what I, what I kept. Uh, ten positions. I kept the one cryptocurrency. I kept four individual stocks. The cryptocurrency is Yearn Finance. 
I kept four individual stocks. I kept Sirius XM, OFS Credit, uh, I bought Neo, uh, give it a shot, you know, and I kept Ford, of course. Ford, I mean, it's just going to be on here till till Ford goes out of business or I'm dead and don't need the brokerage anymore. Uh, say what y'all want to about that. I don't care. The other five positions are all ETFs. Maintaining, trying to maintain diversity. I mean, even, even with, with the portfolio being one-fourth the size of what it was, it's still got a lot of it, keeping a good bit of diversity, diversity to it, you know, diverse, diversity. You know, and uh, the ETFs that I kept are, uh, I got uh, Global X, NASDAQ, Covered Call, uh, Global X, uh, Super Dividend ETF, Strive US Energy ETF, I've got Infracap MLP ETF, and then I've also got another Global X, uh, I got Global X Covered Call, uh, an S&P 500 Covered Call ETF. I kind of like the Global X ETFs because they pay monthly dividends. Uh, and, and the yield's pretty good on them, uh, I think, so, but, yeah, I mean, I wanted to try to, even though I was going to cut it way down, I wanted to try to keep that diversity, because, I mean, that way you don't lose a shit ton of money in one damn position, but, uh, yeah, I just, I could, I feel bad for the guy losing that much like that, but I told him, I was like, no, nah, you kind of brought that one on yourself, buddy. No, don't put all all them eggs, you know, in one damn basket. Everything, all they got a whole flock of chickens, and every egg they all laid, he stuck it all in one basket, and then he messed around and slipped and dropped the basket. You know. No. Anyway, uh, I'll try to see if I can remember how to put a link to my brokerage. Uh, down there, so y'all can check out. Uh, yeah, I think they still got the promotional going on where you get uh, a, a free stock for signing up and you get another free stock for uh, when you fund the brokerage. Uh, or more importantly, if you use my link and sign up, I get some free stocks. So that, that's that's the main takeaway there from that. I want some damn free stocks. But, uh, hey, you know what? Being honest sounds selfish. It is selfish, but hey, I'm just gonna be honest. I won't free. You can sign up. I won't free stocks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, not, not financial. Doesn't not say it's financial advice or anything. But uh, you know, you can put all your eggs in one basket if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But I mean, I ain't nowhere in hell I'm gonna do anything. Like I put all my stuff in one stock. No, but. No, not financial advice. Yeah, y'all do what y'all want. Uh, yeah. Have a good one.